Uh oh, it's another bathroom rant video. You know, if you've watched my videos, that if I'm standing here, I might be ranting about something. I don't know why, just the way it is. This video, I'm going to talk about relationships and you. Getting right to the point here. If you're in a relationship with a woman you don't belong with, and you know it, and you really know it, and it's time to get out, this is video. This video is for you. Okay, because I've been there. I'm going to give you some real, real advice. Are you qualified to give this advice? I don't know. That depends on if you resonate with it. So listen. I know you've been beat up. I know you've been walked on. And I know you've probably been cheated on. I know that. Maybe you hurt somebody in your life. Maybe you were lonely and depressed. And you shacked up with somebody that you knew you didn't belong with and you hurt that person. And guess what karma did to you? Oh, did it eat you up alive? Did karma come back and put you through a suffering hell for what you did? You deserved it because you got that little tiny inkling, that taste that you knew you shouldn't have been doing that, but you couldn't help yourself because you were weak. Now let's do the flip side. Let's say you're in a relationship and someone isn't treating you the way you need to be treated and fulfilling your needs and making you feel loved. See, your job as a man in the relationship is to set the boundaries and be the structure that does not collapse no matter what your woman throws at you. No matter what she does. You stand for a higher purpose and you don't collapse. But you also make her feel safe and secure and you love her. And when she knows that she knows that she knows that she knows that no matter what she crashes against you, you will never ever ever buckle full fall and you will never run away you ain't going to go cheat on her. You ain't going to do nothing wrong until death. A beautiful thing happens. And it takes time because trust is earned through time. And if you've messed up, that's going to take some time. Right? Because you feel like you're getting nowhere with her. It takes time. This is what happens. Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. If your woman can feel in her deepest core that no matter what she puts you through, you will never ever fold. It's psychological backdoors. If you're hiding a back door way down deep, you're trying to hide it and disguise it. It's real small. It's you love her. 99% of you is totally in love with her. 99% of you. That one percent that you're hiding from her, that back door, that's the one percent that is like blaring red flags in her face that is driving her insane and making her treat you the way she does because she can feel that one but you can't hide it. You can't hide that. Women are very, very emotionally attuned and we are like cavemen compared to them. If a woman can, can bear a child, a woman bared you. I don't even know if I got that right, but you get what I'm saying? You can't hide anything from a woman. So the sooner you get to recognizing that, you know, what I'm talking about is the sooner your relationship is going to flower and prosper into something beautiful that you've always wanted, where you can go to work and be a man and work your ass off and bring home the bacon and not worry about what she's doing. Because I'll tell you a little secret. This is the biggest secret. If you're single. Or anything. You go on Facebook. People you may know. If you've ever seen this. Girl after girl after girl after girl. It's just a rows of girls with makeup and their boobs showing. It's like. It's. It's crazy. I'm, I'm not attracted to that at all. They're a, and I'm married. I'm happily married. But I can see this. They're a dime a dozen. Now, I'm talking to men here. This is videos for men. 
They're a dime a dozen. But nothing is more powerful and attractive than a man who has definiteness of purpose and has got his act together. A man who has a vision and puts his purpose in worthwhile dreams. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is more attractive than that. It's more attractive than any hot woman. So you can be the greatest catch. I'm, I'm like, popping my shirt a little because I know something about this. You can be the greatest catch and have your pick. As long as your heart's right. If, if, if you've got it together. If you're putting her first and you're always worrying about her and everything about her and you're worshipping her. See, women, they get repulsed by that. When they feel, especially an attractive woman who is, you know, attractive inside and out. When a man is worshipping them and, and putting her before everything in a negative way, not in not a positive way. You see, there's distinctions here. It's different levels. She gets something called the instant e. She's repulsed by a man who is insecure in that way. Repulsed. Disgusted. Yuck. And even if she's in a relationship, if she's in a relationship with you and you guys have been together for years and you think like she's cheating or you think that this is a very deep subject, man. And you don't know, like, ugh. If you want to turn all that way around, or you want to attract the woman of your dreams, or you want the woman that you're with right now, and you want that relationship to just be amazing, listen to what I'm saying here. Close all back doors. I want you to kill that part of yourself that's hiding. Whatever part of you, you need to kill it. It's gone. Decide means to cut. So the Latin word decide means you cut off all other options and you move forward. Now it'll feel like you're dying. That's the scariest thing a man can do is lock the door and throw away the key. <sighs> you could end up you could end up drowning to death. You could end up in that scary place where your deepest fears will eat you alive. Like the pit of wolves. Because you've been there before, haven't you? And you don't want to go there again. It's so scary. So you keep your options open. The sooner you start closing down options and picking the one option that you were called to do is the sooner that everything in your life is going to turn around and just start falling into place like magic. Like magic. So back to the beginning of what I was saying because I had to bring you through all this. If you don't belong with her and you want to get out, you don't just get out. It ain't that easy. Most relationships that end are like suffering all the way to the end. And one person holds on until it gets so bad that the other person grades, gains the strength. And you know how you know when you're down with somebody for good? Is the very thought of them makes you like repulsed. Ugh. That's how you know you're done. So one person will hold on in the relationship and, and, and all the way. Hold on. They, they, you, you don't have the power to let go. You don't even got the power to let go. She's got you hook, line, and sinker by your emotions, and you feel like you're dying, bro. This is how you do it. And if you're holding guilt, this is how you do it. Give her 100% of you. 100%. Put out all that other crap in your life and give her a hundred percent. See, I'm talking to you close all doors and you do that. Do that for some time. And if that still doesn't work, she's not for you. You get out. And as long as you know on the other side of the fence when the relationship is over, that you gave a hundred percent of yourself, as long as you know that, then you're good. You're good. <sighs> you can move on to the next chapter of your life and be prosperous and guilt-free about it too. Totally guilt-free. Because you know that you know you gave your best. Nah, there's an egoic side of that too. Oh, I give her 100%. Dude, I sat down with somebody Oh, I don't know if I tell you my personal life. I'm going to have to tell you my personal life to tell you. I know that. I, to listen. 
when my wife and I first got together, we'd known each other since, like, we are kids, man. Well, when we first got together, we fell in love. It was amazing. The very beginning of our relationship was crazy. It was crazy. We were young. We were fighting all the time. And we went and we sat down with somebody. And I was so convinced that it was all her. I knew it was her, man. I knew it. We walked out of that that little coaching thing that one time. I'm not afraid to admit this. You know what I found out? She flipped and broke up with me right after we left the thing, and I and it, it blew up in my it blew up in my face. And that's probably what you're afraid of. I found out that over 51 percent of the problem was me, and I didn't even realize it. I had a major breakdown. I broke down. I had a nervous breakdown because it made me see for the first time in my life I was living in self-deceit, in a delusion. I was deluding myself. Are you deluding yourself? Are you in a delusion? If you are, you know it deep down inside. You can feel it. But it hides in the dark. And when you shine a light on it, it runs. You're going to have to chase it down through the labyrinth of your emotions, your mind, your heart, your ego, and chase that thing down, that lie, and corner it. And it's going to run, man. It's going to try to change a subject and deceive you. But you get all the way down in the, in the deep, dark basement, and you go down in that dark, dark place, in that corner of yourself with a big flashlight, and you shine a light on it, and you're going to have a breakdown. But what it's going to do, it's going to dissolve. And... All of a sudden, the lights will be turned on, and light will shine into that dark part of yourself that's hiding. <sighs> and the greatest, most freeing feeling you've ever felt in your life will shine into you and into your life and change you as a man permanently. Hopefully permanently. <laughs> I don't know how deep you are. You might be real deep in this hole. So I'm talking about a lot of different stuff here, and it's all correlated into one spectrum. And being aware of it, what I'm talking about right now, is being aware of it. There's parts of you that you're hiding, and you know it, but it's too painful. This all has to do with what's going on in your relationship. It has to do with it. So if you got to get out of the relationship, man, get out. It's going to be hard, but dude, on the other side, you're going to be fine. You feel like you're going to die. You ain't going to die, man. It's going to be beautiful on the other side. If you did 100% of giving yourself to her selflessly and did everything you could and even broke down if you had to, to change yourself, because you can't change other people. You can't. You can only change yourself. And if you think you're going to change someone else, you're just beating your head against the wall over and over through your whole life. So give her 100% of yourself. See, I'm talking about all these different things at once. I should just make like five videos and hit them all at once in all different directions. I might just do that. I might not even upload this. All right, Keith Kelfus out. Check out my podcast too. It's awesome.